Welcome to all our viewers. I'm Anjali from Simply Learn and today I'll be taking you through the installation process for Docker. So before we begin, let me give you an intro to Docker. So what is Docker? Docker is a tool which is used to automate the deployment of applications in lightweight containers. So when I say containers, I mean a software package that consists of all the dependencies required to run the particular application. And when you deploy containers, you're basically providing the capability for the application to run in any kind of environment. So Dockers have multiple features, some of which are that multiple containers can run on the same hardware. It has very high productivity when compared to virtual machines. It maintains isolated applications and has a very quick and easy configuration process. So now let's begin with the demo. We'll be installing Docker on an Ubuntu system. So this is my system. I just opened the terminal. So the first thing you can start with is removing any Docker installation that you probably already have present in your system if you want to start from scratch. So this is the command to do so. sudo apt get remove docker docker engine docker.io enter your password and docker is removed. So now we'll start from scratch and we'll install Docker once again. Before that, I'll just clear my screen. Okay, so before I install Docker, let me just ensure that all the softwares on my system currently is in its latest state. So sudo app get update. Great, so that's done. Next thing, we'll actually install our Docker. So type in sudo apt get install docker. Now as you can see here, there's an error that's occurred. So sometimes it's possible that due to the environment of the machine that you're working in, this particular command does not work. In which case, there's always another command that you can start with. You just type docker install. And that by itself will give you the command you can use to install docker. So as it says here, sudo apt install docker.io is a command that we will need to execute to install docker. And after that, we'll execute the sudo snap install docker. So sudo apt install docker.io first. And this will install your docker. After that's done, we will have sudo snap install docker. So snap install docker installs a newly created snap package. There are basically some other dependencies for docker that you'll have to install. Of course, since this is the installation process for the entire Docker IO, it will take some time. Great, so our Docker is installed. The next thing we do, as I mentioned earlier, is that we need to install all the dependency packages. So the command for that is sudo snap install docker. Enter your password. Okay. 
So with that, we have completed the installation process for Docker, but we'll perform a few more stages where we will test if the installation has been done right. So before we move on with the testing for Docker, let's once again just check the version that we have installed. So for that, the command is docker version and as you can see, docker version 17.12.1 CE has been installed. Next thing we do is we pull an image from the docker hub. So docker run hello world. Now hello world is a docker image which is present on the docker hub. Docker hub is basically a repository that you can find online. So with this command, the Docker image hello world has been pulled onto your system. So let's see if it's actually present on your system now. The command to check this is sudo docker images. And as you can see here, hello world repository, this is present on our system currently. So the image has been successfully pulled onto the system and this means that our docker is working. Now we'll try out another command. sudo docker ps minus a. This displays all the containers that you have pulled so far. So as you can see here, there are three hello world images displayed and all of them are in exited state. So I did this demo previously too, which is why the two hello worlds, which is created two minutes ago is also displayed here. And the first hello world, which has been created a minute ago is the one we just did for this demo. Now, as you have probably noticed that all the hello world images over here, all these containers are in the exited state. So when you give the option for Docker PS minus A, where minus A stands for all, it displays all the containers whether they are in exited or running state. If you want to see only those containers which are in their running state, you can simply execute sudo docker ps. sudo docker ps. And as you can see, no container is visible here because none of them are in running state. And with that, we come to an end of our Docker installation. So I hope you all really liked the video. If you did, please hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet as we have many more videos coming up for you. If you have any doubts regarding Docker, please post them in the comment section below and we will definitely get back to you. So see you all next time. This is Anjali signing off. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.